Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be talking about the books that I read in the month of August. At the beginning of August I there was the book Tubathon that cut into August Late, J J late July and then cutting into August. So those books that I read during that week, I have a vlog, um, a vlog slash wrap up. So I will link that up on the screen if you guys wanna check that out. As well as with all these books, I did do weekly reading vlogs. Um, so you could check those out if you wanna hear more details about any of these books, but there's a lot to get through. So let's jump right into it. First up, I did some rereads. So I reread Orange, this manga series. So good, so I reread volumes one and volumes two and these were amazing i want to start watching the anime soon um i've read these both twice now but basically if you do not know the series it talks about suicide and friendship and really close friendships follow our main character who receives a letter from her future self and it's about what the letter's asking her to do and her relationship with her friends and the guy that she's interested in. So this series is just amazing. Highly recommend it. I gave this five stars. I gave Orange Complete Volume 2 4.5 stars. And I also read along with that. I read the little orange future they had. So I gave this one four stars. This is just part of it's like from another character's perspective in this book. And then part of it's like a little bit after the events of the last one, but this was enjoyable as well. Next, I read Capture by You by Sylvia Day. I don't know, I'm reading this series right now and it's literally just romance, business, he's the boss, you know, she dates the boss. Um, it's very tropey, very cliche. It's basically Fifty Shades, but like slightly better. Third or fourth book in the series? I don't know. These are like so bad. I just read them when I'm really bored. I listen to the audiobooks of them, um, but this one was okay. I gave it two stars. Next, I read Pillow Thoughts Volume 2. This came out and I read it on script because I didn't want to buy a physical copy. <laughs> but this, I really enjoyed Pillow Thoughts Volume 1 by Courtney Pepernell, and this was good as well. So basically, it's kind of divided into like, if you are feeling do 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 do, and then it's like, if you are feeling this way, or if this has happened to you, blank, and then I'll have some poems on it and stuff. Um, but, but Pillow Thoughts Volume 2, I thought it was solid as well. I personally enjoyed Volume 1 better, but volume two was pretty good as well. I love the cover for this, just saying. But this was a this was good. It just wasn't as good as volume one, which I think I gave four stars, and this got a 3.5 stars. Another reread. I reread The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton. This, if you do not know, is about a boy named Pony Boy, and he is in a gang. You could it's a gang. But he is part of the greasers, which are like the lower class, the grungy gang kind of thing leather jackets um greasy hair the whole kind of thing um, yes we follow pony boy and his friends and his like his little interactions with the socias who are another part there's the socias and there's the greasers the socias are like upper class and they have expensive cars they get all the ladies kind of that kind of thing um but we follow pony boy who gets himself in a bit of a scandal and how he's dealing with this and how he like it's it's a lot about friendship and gangs and like what it means to be friends with different people as well if that makes any sense <laughs> anyways i really enjoyed rereading this one it's a good read and it's middle grade and i remember reading this back in like seventh or sixth grade and now i'm going into grade 12 so this was just as good as i remember it it's a really enjoyable book and I want to watch the film as well but it was good I gave it four stars I read um I read adulthood is a myth during I think book tubathon and I love that book I gave it five stars I thought it was hilarious um so I read the other two in this series so big mushy happy lump and hurting and hurting cats hurting not hurting hurting cats yes um so i read these two they were both pretty good they weren't my favorites they i think adulthood is a myth is one that you definitely should pick up this one was these were good but they weren't as like relatable or as funny as the first one i gave them both like three star next two i talked about a lot in a reading vlog so i'll have that linked up on the screen but i read heretics anonymous which we follow a boy who is an atheist and we follow him at school 
he there's a group called heretics anonymous and they kind of get themselves in some scandals as well who's jewish pagan an atheist like our main character and someone who is like strongly christian and it's about our main character narrating it it's super funny super enjoyable i thought it was a great read for so many reasons and i talk about those more in the vlog but this was solid i would highly recommend this i gave this 4.5 out of 5 stars which i don't give often but this was very very good and totally worth the hype it's been getting next i read the apocalypse of Elena mendoza i listened to this one on audiobook this is about our main character who is basically the opposite of shatter me if you think about it but it's her one day she heals someone basically the beginning of this book um, this girl gets shot and is dying and our main character heals her and the other the guy who shot her disappears um, in a beam of light and it's like what the hell just happened and it's about our main character how she can heal people and how she was born um, of a virgin birth and what that meant like what that means for her and like how people view her and her relationship with the, f the world and because she objects talk to her she's um it has that magical realism component to it and it was a really nice touch to this story if you definitely definitely if you enjoyed we are the ants i think you'll enjoy the uh elena mendoza it was a really interesting read and it it has those same kind of underlying messages that we are the ants had so i just really enjoy this really different um super enjoyable read i gave it four stars i think it's definitely worth picking up his writing is amazing as well so check this out i read b and puppy cat at volume two this is just a little graphic novel series that i've been reading on my phone every now and then but this is these are good they're not great they're just like when i'm bored and i'm like sure it's on my phone but these are just this girl and her puppy cat and their adventures it's the weirdest thing um but this volume was just okay for me. I don't really like that it's like different artists and it's little short stories like instead of a continuous volume. Um, so I had trouble with that. Not my favorite series but it's super cute and like some of the art styles I'm like yes I love it and then the next one will be a different one and I'm like no. <laughs> no. I gave this 2.5 stars. It was fine. <laughs> like not great but it wasn't too bad. It just wasn't good. Next, I read A Silent Voice. This is by Yoshitaka Oma. Totally said that wrong. I apologize. This is about a bully and it's about a new girl who comes to the school and she is deaf and it's about how he still bullies her and the consequences of that and how he sees her get bullied and doesn't do anything as well and it's about the relationship between these two characters the bully versus the person who's getting bullied um it talks about our char main character who is deaf and going to a new school and kind of what that's like a little bit and it's a very it was a very hard volume to read because of the bullying and like huge trigger warnings for that like please keep that in mind at the end it had a really important message to it and i think the first volume was a really good setup for what the rest of the series is going to hold so i'm hoping i did pick up volume two i did purchase it so i'm hoping to read that one soon and you'll hear my thoughts on it in next month's wrap up but this was really interesting i think it has great reviews and i get why and yeah i enjoyed it as well like it was tough to read at times but i think it was worth the read i gave it a 3.5 so i received a book for review so thank you so much to the publisher for sending this to me but that is disconnected this is a book of poetry and prose poetry and short stories not prose um and then this has some of my favorite authors in it including Cyrus Parker, Amanda Lovelace, Nikita Gill um and this is just I was so excited for this great I requested it I was like yes I got an e-arc of it thank you so much to the publisher again I totally appreciate it but I didn't enjoy it um I found that the the authors that write poetry I think they write poetry best and their short stories weren't anything I was really enjoying. I found myself like skim reading their short stories and just wanting to get to the poetry because that's I think what they do best. Best, I think that's what they do best and in their original collections they're all like most of them are almost I think all of them I love or almost all of them I love their collections so it was really disappointing for me. I don't know why but I had a huge disconnect with Disconnected. Um, unfortunately but yes, if you do like these poets and you still want to check it out, you can. It just wasn't really my thing, I guess. I just didn't click with it. So I gave it 2.5 stars. And last but not least, I read The Black Witch by Lori Forrest. So this book is about our main character who thinks she has no magic. 
and you know how these books go and she looks exactly like her grandmother who was the black witch and there it's just a fantasy book it's uh, an aspect of like a magical school in this book so like it has that like hogwarts aspect to it as well i'm um, going to a magical school um, there's totally like different types of like beings in this book so there's like witches elves egg rolls which are like demons um there's so many cool things in this book I read this because I went to an HTC Frenzy event and the author was there so I got this signed so I wanted to read this before the event because I did some exclusive stuff um, with the author and some like exclusive interviews and things like that. Did I get this copy signed? I don't even know. No, I don't think I got this one signed. I have like, now I have like two copies of this and I have a copy of the art for the second book so I'm like what do I do with them? Um, but I did like The Black Witch. I listened to this one on audiobook. It was 18 hours <laughs> but yeah because this thing is a pretty chunky book so I'm very happy I read a chunky fantasy this month. We did I thought the main character at times was annoying <laughs> um but there was a lot of world building there was a lot of setup in the first bit of the book. I did overall like the book I thought a lot of aspects of it were interesting it talks about prejudice a lot in this book. Um, I also thought the magic system was really cool the school aspect I really liked. Um, there's some touches of romance throughout the book but it's nothing like set in stone yet um, but I will be picking up the second book because I have an arc for it and I would like to see what happens but this was a solid setup book in my opinion. Um, I don't love the characters as much as I love like first book and fantasy series characters. Um, I'm not too attached to the characters but I like the world and that's what's gonna keep me going I guess throughout the series. But I gave this three stars. I thought it was good. It wasn't like fantastic but it wasn't awful. Um, but yes the world is my favorite part so if you're interested in a fantasy that has some interesting world building magical school definitely check this one out again gave it three stars so there you guys have it those were the books that i've read in the month of august thank you so much for watching let me know your thoughts in the comments down below if you like this new setup let me know um this is how i used to set up my videos actually so since i rearranged my room you'll notice there's only one of those shelves and not two because it's moved to another side of my room um but hopefully you guys like this setup it's very comfortable for me to film and i personally like the way it looks it's not too distracting like you can't see all the titles to the point where like it's distracting um but yes and i got my wall art over here yes i like it i think it's cute let me know what you think about it and if you're new here be sure to subscribe i'm hoping well i will be getting on an upload schedule actually instead of just uploading every now and then i'm going to be uploading i'm going to be uploading every wednesdays and sundays or wednesdays and saturdays wednesdays and saturdays wednesdays and sundays i'll put it on the screen um but i want to stick to a schedule because i'm starting school soon it's my last year of high school um, i'm gonna be super busy so much going on in life but i want to keep this youtube channel afloat and bring different content to you guys um some other people have really inspired me to want to make just better content and more unique content so i don't think i'm going to be doing as many like tbrs anymore but hopefully you will still enjoy my videos and you'll still stick around. If you're here, be sure to subscribe, click the bell, because sometimes videos don't show up in your subscription box. So click the bell so you'll be notified as well when I upload. Um, I have Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, Goodreads. It's all down below. Make sure to check it out if you feel like it. And mostly Instagram is where I'm the most active, Instagram and Twitter, so if you want to check those out, they're both Julia Sapphire underscore, so yes. But I will see you guys all super soon with a new video, and thank you so, so much for watching. Bye. And